morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Okay, we're moving on to adding and subtracting of fractions. We will use a number of skills that we have learned in this chapter and the previous chapter. To begin with, we'll go back to our concept of fractions and what does the denominator represent. So if I've written one fifth, what does my denominator, the number at the bottom, represent? Um, five equal parts. Five equal parts. Are we happy with that? So let's say we made a pizza again and I cut, it, I cut, both, uh, cut that pizza into five equal parts. So someone had one fifth. So one out of those five equal parts and another student had two fifths, two out of those five equal parts. So can you tell me what was the total amount of pizza that they ate? So one student ate one out of those five parts, the other one ate two out of those five parts. Uh, three out of the five parts. Excellent. Were three parts out of the five eaten? Yeah. So can I just say then one fifth plus two fifths is three fifths. Is that right? Yes. Now this question was easy because both fractions had the same denominator, same equal parts. And that is the first step to remember. You can only add or subtract fractions if the whole was divided into equal parts, like that pizza example. Make sense? If the denominators aren't same, so for example, you had one pizza which you cut into two parts, another pizza that you cut into three equal parts, can you add them? So one student ate one and the other ate two of this one. Can you tell me what was the total fraction? Can I just add the tops now? No. no. So we cannot add fractions or subtract fractions until they have the same denominator because then they're not, we don't have the same number of the equal parts. Does that make sense? Yes. So that is the most important point. They must have the same denominator. If they do, all you have to do is add the tops and keep the denominator same. We happy with that? So what happens when the denominator is not same? That's when we use our knowledge of equivalent fractions that we did yesterday. We need to convert them to the same common denominator. So the first thing we do is find that common denominator. And I've used the word LCM. Anyone remembers what LCM is? Lowest common denominator? Yes, yes, lowest common multiple. But I'm going to change this M into a D, lowest common denominator. You basically find the LCM of the two denominators. So lowest common multiple. What are the multiples of two? Two, two four, four, six, six eight, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. What are the multiples of three? Three, six, nine. What's the first multiple that's common? Six. So what's our LCD going to be? Six. Are we happy so far? Yes. Okay, eyes on the board. So basically we need to write this fraction over that lowest common denominator and the second fraction. Now, what do I need to multiply 2 with to get, a, uh, get the denominator 6? 3. 3. Is 3 times 2 6? Yes. Well, what do I have to do at the top? Times by 3. Same thing, times by 3. So that means half is equal to 3 6. Remember from yesterday? Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. top. So to get a lowest common multiple of 6, a lowest common denominator of 6, you need to times the bottom by 3, so you must do the same to the top. For this fraction, what do I multiply 3 with to get 6? 2. So I must do the same to the top. So 2 thirds can be written as 4 sixths. So have we done the first step now? Are the denominators the same? Yes. Can I add them now? Yes. yes, so we add the tops, 3 plus 4 is 7, and the denominator remains the same. Happy? Yes. However, this fraction cannot be the final answer. There's something improper about it. Exactly, it's an improper fraction. The top is heavy, can you see? The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we need to convert it into a mixed number. So how many times 6 goes into 7? One. one. Remainder? One. one. That's it. Any questions? Good. You have a question? Okay. Next one. Minus. Same thing. We need the denominator to be the same. Are the denominators same? No. no. So nine and two. What would be the lowest common denominator? So first multiple of 9 and 2, which is common? 18. 18. Are we all happy with that? Yes. I usually start with multiples of the bigger number. So 9, it's not a multiple of 2. 
18. Is that the multiple of 2? Yes. yes. So 18 is the first multiple that's common to both 9 and 2. Now, what do I multiply 9 with to get 18? I must do the same to the top. So 5 9 becomes 10 18. Yes? Then minus. 2 needs to be multiplied with? 9. So 1 times 9 is 9. Are the denominators same now? Yeah. Can I take away? Yeah. Yes. So 10 take away 9 is 1. Do I take away the denominators as well? Yeah. No. 1, 18. Make sense? Good. Same thing. Close common multiple. So let's start with the multiples of 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Is that common to 5? No. 12. Is that a multiple of 5? No. 18. Is that a multiple of 5? No. 24. 30. Yes. yes. What's our common denominator? 30. 30. So, what do I multiply 6 with? 5. five. Must do the same to the top. Multiply 5 with? Six. Must do the same to the top. 5 times 5? 3 times 6? Are the denominators equal? Same? Can I take away? What's 25 take away 18? 7. Seven. Anything improper? No. Final answer? Yes. Questions? Sit properly, please. Now, mixed numbers. Convert them into improper fractions first and then follow the usual. 5 times 3? 15. Plus 2? 5 times 4? Plus one. Are the denominators same? Yes. Do I need to do anything? No. Can I add the tops? Yes. Yep. You should check if you can simplify the fraction. Can it be divided by the same number? No. Can this be converted into a mixed number? Yes. Five goes into 38 how many times? Seven times. Five times seven is 35. Remainder? Three. Three. That's it. Any questions? So, what's the first thing we do when we add or subtract fractions? Get the denominator in the same. Same denominator. Say that again. So, common denominator. To add or subtract fractions, what do we need? The same denominator. What do we need to add or subtract fractions? Same denominator. Wake up. What do we need to add or subtract fractions? Same, same denominator. What is the same denominator? LCD. What's the uh, lowest common multiple of the two denominators? How do we find the same denominator? LCM of the two denominators. Any questions? Do we convert the final answer into a mixed number? Yes. Yes. What do we do to mix numbers to add them? Convert them to? Improper. Improper. Get on with your work.